Hello there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Brill and I are here today to talk to you about a book that we are so, so, so excited about. It's a brand new book, but it's by a really familiar author. It's an author that many of you already may know and love. And this is his brand new book. And I'm so, so excited about it because I read it and just absolutely adored it. And the best part about it is that it is a perfect, perfect book for this time of year. It's a seasonal holiday read. I think you could probably love it at any point that you read it. In fact, I may even revisit this book once uh, the summer hits, like for a Christmas in July sort of thing. But if you're looking for a really fun, exciting, um, sweet holiday story, this is the book you have to read this year. So what book am I talking about? It's called Juniper's Christmas, and it's by Eowyn Colfer. Juniper's Christmas. Now, this author, first of all, look at how beautiful that cover is. I love how bright and colorful and evocative it is. So this author, Eowyn Colfer, and I don't know if I'm saying his name, his first name right, but he is the writer of the Artemis Fowl series, which is a really, really popular series about, you know, this spy kid and it's got espionage and all this cool adventures and stuff. So when I heard he was writing a Christmas story, I was really excited because I knew what a really great author he was, but he's not not really written this kind of book before at least to my knowledge so I was really excited to give it a try to see what it was all about and I instantly loved it because first of all he really gets you with a big hook in the very beginning because I just want to read the first couple of li lines from it I'm sure you know Santa's story everyone knows it but since it's one of the greatest tragedies of all time, I shall summarize here before we move on to the story of a girl from London who would track down Santa Claus when he hid himself away from the world. What? So how can you hear that and not just immediately want to find out, number one, what happened to Santa that was a tragedy? Why did he hide himself away from the world? And who is this girl that's going to try to save Christmas? So to answer a couple of those questions without really spoiling anything, the main gist of the story is that there was a tragedy in Santa Claus's life. He lost his beloved Mrs. Claus. So he lost the woman he loved, the woman he was married to. She died. And after that, he just felt that because he spent all his time focused on Christmas and the children of the world and bringing joy to them, he wasn't able to focus on her, what he considered to be what really mattered in his life. So he withdrew from the world and there has been no more Santa Claus ever since. So fast forward now to Juniper. Juniper is a young girl living in London. Her father has passed away, um, but there was a tradition that he did because he loved Christmas and he still believed in Santa Claus even though it had been many years since Santa Claus had appeared and done anything. He had this um, tradition every year in the park where they near where they lived to gather together people and carolers and sing Christmas carols and also to gather items that the needy might use. So, you know, blankets and food and all kinds of things that you might want to donate to people who are in need. And he grew this tradition and now Juniper feels like it is her job and responsibility to pick up the pieces that her dad left behind and keep this tradition going strong. Her mom you know has been has just started to bounce back from from her father from you know Juniper's father's death so the family is just starting to piece themselves together again and they want to get started on this tradition well there's a couple things getting in the way of that the first thing is the park director does not want this at all he wants to get this program canceled he doesn't want anything to do with it and he will stop at basically nothing to be able to have this happen the second thing is very early on in the story Juniper's mom goes missing what? She goes missing with, there's no sight or sound of her, and Juniper is terrified of what could have happened to her. So now there is all this different stuff going on. Juniper um, has a friend that lives in the park whose name is Duchess, and with Duchess's help, she enlists the help of this really um, grumpy caretaker of the forest, who, of the park rather, who 
kind of has a lot of similarities to Santa Claus. And I don't know, is that a coincidence? What might be going on with that? Um, so he has a lot of similarities to her, to Santa Claus and Juniper has to get his help to not only find her mom and what's going on with that situation, but also to save this Christmas tradition that her father started. So there's a lot going on in this book. And I just want to say, I never, ever, ever say this. I never say this, but this book would make an excellent adaptation of from a movie or a tv show or something like that um i am always very skeptical and so critical of things that are adapted from books into movies or tv a lot of times they're really fantastic um, but other times they're not and i'm always really worried about that so i think that this book was made to be a beautiful movie i think it has all the characteristics that would make it just totally succeed i think it's an absolutely fantastic story um if you're looking for a really fun light and yeah I say light yes it, it is also dealing with Juniper and dealing with her father's death but it's so much about how she wants to remain positive during this whole thing and how she's looking for the bright side always and I felt so close to Juniper reading this book and I felt like there are so many things that we could take lessons that we could learn from this main character I absolutely adored her there are so many things going on there are flying reindeer there are really cantankerous elves there are these nefarious bad guys there is just Christmas holiday magic this book has everything it has you know found family it has family love it has friendship um it's just absolutely wonderful. It's funny. I love this book. And like I said, I will probably read it again in the summer just for fun. But if you're looking for the perfect holiday read, look no further than this because this book is it. Wonderful. Juniper's Christmas. Well, I hope that you guys are just as excited about this book as I am, and I hope you will give it a try. If so, please feel free to come and check it out from Farmington Community Library. And also, thank you so, so much for watching, friends, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day.